are. Hi everyone. Yes. Hello. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have to switch phones. You go for it. You go for it. I just would like this this one to like be over here. Okay, just stay here. Talk to your stuff. Talk to your stuff. It actually looks really it looks really sexy when it's like I know it's just a little slanty, exactly. This is just a little it. slutty I wig. I love it. <laughs> and I really, I really love the color of this. Can no. you show us your jewelry, please? What are you wearing? Well, I am wearing my 10K pearls, black station pearls, and I have some like bling bling, some other bling bling, and I have some beautiful Swarovski pinkies here. Got wow. like a couple of days ago to match the the pink realness it's about you being different we're not gonna go gonna so go awesome. further down because i'm not really wearing much more <laughs> i literally i literally had an hour to panties? bash i am where i am wearing panties but i literally had an hour to bash this on for it because i had like a session i was seeing someone this morning you know life is an adventure let's just That's roll amazing. with it <laughs> can i Introduce you. <laughs> Go for uh, it. Everybody is giving like yeah. looking so sexy, sassy, hot. Yeah. A lot of yes, those pearls. Hey, you have a lot of people. Thank you, everybody, for joining. So first of all, thank you so much for being here. I absolutely love what you uh, what you are being in the world. It's um, I've known you since like. Um, four years ago when I was in Bali actually I'm in Bali again and I had you uh, we had an interview as well and we were talking about like classes and stuff and um, one of the things that like uh, I um, you're, you're different you're very um, you have like a way of being with people that makes people uh, be uh, themselves like you're very you have a very great allowance um, a very great receiving factor and 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 I've seen you growing into like this and then like the magic Merlot and I, I what's the words like the, it's like such you being you is like you have a way of inviting people to be all of them and then now like as magic merlot you're just being that where you're like inviting people into like hey you can just be whatever you want to be like just have fun um you once came actually into my dreams or you were showing me to have fun with your body no and I knew it was, and I, and I knew it was your being telling me something, and that is just your. Can you? Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. Oh, thank you, honey. Thank you, honey. Yeah, welcome to the world. Oh my God, it's like thank you so much for that introduction. Hey, everyone. I'm just seeing all these friends pop online. Um. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, if you when you ask me, like we we've known each other for for years now, and we've done several things together, and many different things as well. So I wasn't even surprised that you were uh, gonna conjure something different up again, because you know, um, such a gift in being different. You know, I I noticed this like over the last. Over the last years, you know, especially in facilitating access consciousness, the work I do, um, I just noticed that I was becoming more of a proper facilitator as, and that kind of like affected me as a person. And I was like, shit, what, what, what else can I do and be? Because am I being everything I can be? And uh, so from all those questions actually emerged again this energy of that I know to be already. Like I've done drag numerous times and I've worked and done drag shows and it's always been very super liberating yet it was always still loaded with, with a lot of judgments for me. That has like let so much of that has disappeared. So right now I'm just sensing kind of like this free way of um, okay but what can I actually choose and be? It's literally an exploration um, for me as we speak. I'm not saying this to give it any more weight or something. It's really kind of like, oh God, what am I going to put on my face today? You know, kind of like I know my face by now, you know, how it can look, what, you know, kind of like looks good. Because um, I would like to play with that as well. 
And for example, like yesterday night, I was like, I was like, um, just like, because I'm like travel around with Merlot. Merlot might be coming to your town. But, <laughs> uh, and I was like, I was like uh, Googling for traveling with, you know, Wix stuff and, you know, your drag. Then I just saw this, this guy or this drag queen called Patagonia, who's actually a backpacker, who is a drag queen. So he's like in nature <laughs> everywhere, like such an invitation to, you know, being everything you can be. And um, yeah, so um, yeah, I know there's just so much, so much inspiration at the moment is like, you know, not even the sky is the limit. Um, I'm up for it. What else did we talk about? <laughs> I, well, you, you just, there's something about you that you said, like, um, there's almost no judgment. And I, and I think this is actually a huge one because how many times do we see people in the world that are different, but have like a huge yeah. amount of judgments of themselves yeah. and how they relate to into the world, which is yeah. for me, naturally doesn't really create like an invitation and i get like you, how do you get to that place where you have no more judgments of you because that is like when you're in that space you melt barriers and that is just such a gift to the whole world how do you get there <laughs> it's funny i've been called an algorithm like a judgment interrupt like several times um and i never even really like understood what that was until I really started noticing uh, people just change by looking at me. When I was working with or creating with Merlot, so to say, oh my God, this hair is so funny. When oh I was creating God, with, so <laughs> <laughs> when I was creating, when I was creating with Merlot, so, so to say, I was like, you know, when people see me, I just want to create a change in the world, whatever that is. And I know I somehow always do, even as me. Like a lot of people hate me at first, um, and which is actually a gift because it usually brings up everything that they are not willing to be or about themselves. I don't even like go into that story, but what I really started to look at that um, recently is like, what is actually happening and what is happening? What do like drag queens create in the world? Um, what do like the like the more successful growing drag queens to even like you know more popular more like worldwide what are they being that is so different and one of the things that is that they most of them they don't really judge themselves they just really kind of like embody what their choices in a different way and that's why I feel that I want to like bring something different you know with uh, Merlot as well um, you know, what if you don't need to judge in order to choose your reality? Because people are going to ju judge. What if we don't even need to fight the judgments? There's so much like anger and like fighting going on on the planet. I'm like, well, there's enough, you know, like what, what, what can we choose as, as people for our own reality with whatever we encounter? And I've really learned to receive judgment by facing it. By, by being in the world, by being judged a lot. And everyone's judged a lot. So one of the keys for me is like to not give it any weight at all. To, to, to take the weight off to everywhere I'm sensing like someone judging me to either just kind of like give it space or like smile it in the face or receive it and let it in. And... Um, you know, maybe do some processing, but I don't even need processing anymore. It's like how many of us know that, you know, the energy of judgment is not even real and true. Um, and by just saying hi to that judgment, whatever it is, whether it's someone who's looking at you and is like, you know, has a point of view about you. It's like, I'm not going to stop that change anymore. Because usually when they're about to judge it's about to change their life. And that's a possibility I'm way more excited about. Wow. So when you're actually willing to receive, oh, holy moly. So when you're willing to receive their judgment, you're actually changing their world. Is that what you just said? Well, so often <laughs> I have noticed that it does, if I don't stop, what is changing? 
if I be I all the it. space to actually contribute to the change, what can everyone choices you lead to? And um, I have no control over what other people choose. What I can control is the space and invitation I can be for a different possibility. And by not buying it, go into it. I mean, I might say fuck you every once in a while. Or, you know, if someone gets violent, I'm willing to smack him in the face. But do I even have to do that? You know, do I even have to do that if I receive without reacting? And it's a practice, you know. It's like I haven't like totally mastered it, so to say, but I've come a long way. And this is like, yeah. Um, what if it's not that that difficult? It's like, you know, other people are showing up in my world as well that totally contribute and support to, you know, possibilities instead of, you know, the judgments about being different. You know, it's what if it's about the possibility of being different, not about the judgment and the resistance and the rebelliousness? Because, you know, we turn into such rebels if we want to, like, prove that we're different. <laughs> well, we know we're different. Like, you know, I could see this as, like, a rebellious action. And I was like, what if it's a playful action? What if it's something that I can choose, put on a wig? What if it's something I can choose? Like, you know, I was having these pearls anyway. I bought them for me, for the beach boy. It was like, well, they suit Merlot pretty well, you know? Um, and um, it's a super interesting conversation because, I mean, it can go like a million ways, to be quite honest. Where shall we go? <laughs> it's what well, I've... I agree. Like one of the things that has uh, has came up um, for me as well, like what I noticed like recently and noticed in myself as well, is like when you're in that space where you just like playfully you, whether you yeah. choose to whether you choose to be Magic Merlot or you choose to be Madeleine or you choose to be anything with with yeah. people, there's like there's no you're you're not going into proving anything you're not proving yeah. you're different you're not proving you're worthy yeah. you're not proving this or that and I've, I've noticed like um when when there and again like there, this that that conversation of, of wrongness again is like when you're trying to prove something you've already decided that you're wrong yeah it's weird it's weird and it's it's taken me like it's it's twisted my mind a little bit as well as in i'm picking this up because so much of what I used to do in theater and what I used to do just being in the world was about like this weird unconsciously proving something about me or about, you know, whatever. So it's been a bit of a process in like acknowledging like that weird energy usually brings a weird energy. It feels like you're not being yourself. Um, yeah. And then and I notice if I go... Separation. Yeah, yeah, it creates like this weird, oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and or like a block, totally. And when yeah. I just started being present with all these energies, when they would show up, for example, when I went out with my friend Crystal and I'm sitting, I'm Asmerlo, you know, just dressed up like a month ago, I noticed that, um, I noticed that I was having like all these old memories of all these old, like, energetic memories, like, these feelings, um, that literally came up for me to, like, kind of, like, say, hello, hey, I'm still here. I'm kind of, like, still stay taking up space. So um, I just kind of, like, it's, like, it was, like, <laughs> a bit ghost-busting on the same, at the same time. But in the end, it was so liberating because I could literally use the world around me to free myself of what, you know, I'd chosen previously. And, or like, you know, the unconsciousness chosen previously. You know, it's like, we, we're not even cognitive of all this stuff usually. Like, we don't even think about it. It just happens. But then that keeps us in that, you know, that internal hamster, hamster wheel of, you know, judging ourselves. So we just step out of that. Like, a lot of people already be that. So I look as well, like, when I look at, at, at the drag community as it is right now, um, I see all these amazing um powerful uh people um that a lot of them they really live already live and function beyond judgment they um they really like embody this reality that you know i had to like get off access island for you know um because you know i spent a lot of time on access consciousness island as well until i kind of like got, got off like two years ago when I was just like, 
you know, I'm just going to get off and see what else I can be and create in the world. Who else is out there that can inspire me? And for the people that don't know what Access Consciousness or Access Island is, so Access <gasps> Consciousness is a set of tools. Um, uh, and you can go to the website accessconsciousness.com and it actually, it's like tools that uh, clear a lot of old rubbish and gives you tools to um, choose and create something different. And choose. I, and that choose. Is what, yeah. I love the choosy and, part. Um, and it's very easy to uh, to get caught up in uh, um, everything that is access consciousness. And basically, what, yeah. you, what you have been doing is you actually have been creating with the tools. I yeah. can imagine. Yeah. Um, but totally different. Totally, totally different things. Different. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm super. Should I tell a bit about that? Um, yeah. What? Yeah. What, go for it. Yeah. So what? Let me see if I could just like. Put a little extra, <laughs> extra, extra pink. Look at that. Aww, isn't she pretty? I mean, literally. I was like, just bash some glitters on for this live stream. They look pretty. <laughs> Glittery for these I people. I can learn from you. So Magic Merlot walks heels like no other. Like, I, I have never met someone walk with heels so elegantly and smoothly as you and i'm not i'm not fluffing around like it's it is like yeah I know. just just that I know. Note. <laughs> thank you honey i do a pretty good strut i know and i love walking in <laughs> heels as well it it totally brings a different energy to my body i have always loved it loved it loved it loved it and the thing is i really didn't have a reason for it when i started choosing it as as a boy as well and still i started like trying to like create this reasoning it's like why why do i like walking in heels well now i know i can say it totally amps up a different energy in my body it like you know like tightens my butt I cheeks it. and it, it, it like gives me sometimes when i have like guys who come for for coaching or other people that kind of like kind of like lack this fierceness and they're in the presence in their universe is like i put them on heels because it's like or you know like of course i ask some more questions um but when they get that it's like they really kind of like have a different presence with their whole body and that's what i actually really love um and especially when i do the walking in the heels class as well i i've done a couple and it's always so much fun because it's really practical and it's really changing stuff on the spot and, you know, people have their, can have their strut and see where they're uncomfortable, where the heels are hurting and stuff. And I'm, I, you know, I'm a professional dancer as well. So that's something that I did throw away a little bit when, um, when access came along, so to say. Oh, let me just fix this a little bit. <laughs> I, anyway, I, 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 I want to jump on that. Uh, can I jump on that? Because there's Go something for it. that you Go just for said. It. Like, th I love that you, um, so when you're a kid, like beyond the judgment of what you're supposed to do as a boy or not, you just went in mm -hmm. on these heels and you discovered an energy that was not available before. And, and like, so um, how often do we refuse these other energies that are available because it's not supposed to be because you're a boy you're you're this yeah. you're yeah. you're that can you yeah. talk a little bit more about that oh yeah god it's a big conversation and actually you know i once did a photo shoot about you know kind of like the the whole gender uh all the gender definitions and actually gone beyond like wrote a big blog about it too it's 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 gorgeous i love it it took a while but i did it but what it what 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 it is it's like for me i as 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 a boy so to say i didn't have much like ideas of who i was and uh that's what as well what what i found in acting is that i found something tangible I found in like in performing a character, I found something tangible. It's like, oh, this I can hold on to. This I cannot create something with. Other than that, I was like merely space, just being aware of my surroundings. I know now. I found that really weird. I felt so fucking weird. My whole childhood, my whole, you know, teens, all of that, until I started to kind of like acknowledge how aware I actually was. 
Um, but then I was too, I would just kind of like choose and follow the energy. I would like see my mom's heels and maybe start around, start around in it a little bit, a little bit more. Then when I went to, uh, I always loved, you know, dressing up as girls, but as boys, as, like as boys as well. I did play like, like girl characters. What I noticed is that through the projections of, uh, projections of school, of, you know, um, you know, everyone that, you know, thinks, you know, a boy dressing up as a girl is weird. You know, when you're aware of all that gunk or that those projections, even if it isn't gunk, it's just an energy. And you kind of like start identifying it. It's like, yeah, there, there's this different energy that's being created in someone's world, in someone's universe. So um, with that, I actually kind of like still went on. I went to ballet class and all of that. And then when I, uh, there's this difference between what the body knows as well and what the body can do as what you as the being, as the person, like the personality or, you know, identity, whatever you, you know, name you give yourself um, is. Because, you know, like what I found was like bodies, you know, they can like, like my body can walk in heels pretty easily, but it, it's not always really, you know, like, like comfortable. I need to kind of like have a sense of, okay, you know, is this, is this, is this going to work? What it does then, if it's like a match for my body at that moment, it just amps up this energy, but that's not only with heels, that is with a shirt as well. That is with, you know, specific kind of makeup. That is with, you know, people as well. So what if like wearing heels is like nothing different than adding an energy, like, and a physical thing to your life? Um, and that's what I see like emerge in like this, this, for example, this backpacker drag queen who is like, like, like climbing mountains with heels on. It's like, you would think it's hilarious, but if you look at him, it's like, wow, just opens up, blows that whole weird defined universe apart of, you know, diversity. And um, it gives us access to it all. There's no, you know, you know, heels was, heels were designed for Louis 14th, 15th, you know? Oh, I so think, I think the small, yeah, the, the small one was number 14. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like first heels were designed for a man. <laughs> I mean, well, the stilettos, thank you, for you know. Bringing that up. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Like maybe the stilettos were, you know, had a different evolution. I'm not entirely sure what 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 that is or what's that about. But um, yeah, it's a really interesting conversation. It's like what's male, what's female, what 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 if it. Yeah, what is actually real? And f actually, to be quite honest, this is like the first time I'm really playing with feminine drag. I have always done like a, that, that kind of this boyish thing. Like, oh, do you kind of like still be a boy? It's like, no. And I'm like, full deal. I'm like talking the whole package. I'm like <laughs> smacking on the whole makeup and putting on the wigs. I'm like, you know, making sure I look at all girly. Just to kind of like explore what it is to really dive into that. Because... I always found it wrong somehow because people thought it was weird. And I was like, well, what if it isn't? What if I, what can I explore now about me? And what can I contribute in the world and make available? Because like, you know, how often are we just being an inspiration by choosing what we choose? And well, I um, lost the young mom. A little bit of yeah. a difference of um, time. I, I, what you just said, like Klaus Jungmann says, you bring up my sexy, not only me, and to choose more female outgoing. Whoop, whoop. I know. I heard. I hear that so much that I that it's actually inviting women to explore more of, um, you know, parts and pieces of that they can choose as well that they might have kind of like chosen because they don't want to be like a sex pussy or like some sort of like really like whatever definition that we, you know, define women as, you know, it's like, what if we were to play with everything? What, you know, everyone at least tries stilettos on or, you know, even like a strap on dildo, like who, who fucking cares, you know, <laughs> like even for the sense or the feel of it. Oh my God, did I just say that in the live stream? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oops. 
sorry if I offended you. But then again, I might not be. So, I might actually be sorry because you know what can I open up? And it's always choice. You know, it's always choice. It's not even you know I have to. The thing is, what I like about the way we can live these these days is more and more by choice. And I'm so grateful for everyone who has gone before us that has actually cleared the path so that we can choose and we can like longer, like more and more and more and more, like be choosing and know that we are not wrong for what our choices are. And even if we notice that energy or those weird feelings, um, what if we can know that that's just a weird feeling and that, you know, we can buy it or not. <laughs> we can buy it or not. Well, that, that was one of the big, if you like ask me like, how did you do that? For me, it was starting to recognize, am I gonna buy this energy or not? Am I gonna like go into this? Especially if you're just a bit psychic and a little bit like receiving a lot of information, like, or like really perceptive to energy or feelings, um, you know, Am I going to buy this energy or not? And then uh, it's, um, it's been extremely liberating to just stop judging. I'm just going to stop judging today. That's what I did. So is history. Was there like a, was there like a, a time in your life that you, okay. So what I've noticed is for me, when I'm not really clear on what I want to create for me, personally or what I like I actually really have to be really clear of what I have to of what I want to create for me personally and then I mm -hmm. just now started to be able to look at what I want to create globally it's like yeah. before that wasn't there and I was like a rudderless shit and everything was like very overwhelming and the the drive and the stamina to like um not let my boat rock that much by all the judgments and by everything that's going on in this world. Like, could you tell us a bit more, like, when were you, like, so clear and you got that drive of, like, I'm going to be no matter what everybody else says? Like, um, what was that for you? I know. There, there's a couple of moments. And there's one that's, like, pretty recently that as well as emerged this energy of Magic Merlot, of me actually really starting to ask what else can I contribute to the planet? And that might sound as a really kind of like, oh my God, you're like trying to contribute to the planet by doing drag. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> but if, you know, in what, in what ways is it? You know, like just showing, showing a different reality, especially with like with my background these days. Uh, you know, I have a pretty big following as a guy uh, so it's pretty like it's been like a bit of a shock for some people to see this going on on their timeline all of a sudden, you know, or in their <laughs> inbox. It's like holy fuck, and you're just like, and you're pretty. That's what I hear. It's like you're confused, and they're like and, and enchanted <laughs> at the same time. So, um, but what what I noticed for myself is that the tar is that my goals that to do it only for me wasn't big enough. I had to turn it around and move it outwards. I have to, I had to start asking, what do I want the planet to be like in five years time? What do I want to be? What, do, what would I like it to be like in 20 years, in 50 years, in 100 years? If I were not important, what would I choose to be and do on daily basis? And what else can I add to my life? that actually brings me joy because that's what I do require. I can like, I noticed that I really can choose anything. I don't really have a fixed point of view or whether I should be on stage or should have a coaching business or, you know, even could be like doing some other random jobs that, you know, I would not even sign up, sign up, signed up for when, you know, I was still in theater for instance, or when I'm, you know, like a year ago. Now I was like, if I let all of that go and just kind of like be an open space of choice, what 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 would make me happy and what can I contribute to the planet? That is like been the greatest, the greatest, um, the greatest gift. Oh my god! 
<laughs> I think I'm having package delivery. <gasps> this is weird. My my what doorbell do I... rings. <laughs> what do you want to do? So I... So, uh, so anyway, can I just kind of like open, like, like, just take that for a little bit? Because uh, I'm leaving for Rome for facilitators. Okay, you're like, oh, <laughs> just one second. Wanna... I'm sorry, guys. Yes. No, 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 no. no, 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 no I'll, I'll, right. I'll, I'll be back. I'll just open up. I'll just open up. Hold on a second. This is hilarious. Hey, Os. And um, I actually would love to... Um... Oh say a little bit more about that i love what okay, merlane hope, is like uh, i don't know about you guys but what merlane is showing me and i have been asking like what is it that oh I my god to the this world? is gonna be hilarious you know why i am half dressed and the mailman is actually gonna like come in and see me in my underwear <laughs> this is like wild happening on the live stream <laughs> Let's see what this creates. Let's see what this reaction will be. This is crazy. Uh, let me just wrap my <laughs> let me just wrap my towel around. Let me just wrap my towel around. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait until he's there, and then we're gonna like witness what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> About a definitely different conversation. Let me see. All right, I'm gonna like keep the line open. He's coming. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> Listen in. Well, like, to come back, like, uh, like he's been asking, like, what is it that I can contribute Hi. to the earth? And then this, this is actually what is, yes. uh, is, oh. getting, is, is getting instituted. Is like, how many times have we, yeah. like, been uh, banging ourselves or making ourselves wrong because we had defined... We decided that this is the way we can contribute, and it's not working out. So I think <laughs> this was awesome. He was like, he was like, I was like, puck 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 puck. I have all my points of view about picking up a package and drag. You know, puck puck is a way you can clear your, uh, you know, your 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 fixed points of view, so to say. And he was like, here's a package. It's like he was like. It's full sync, right? <laughs> he was more <laughs> confused about. He was more confused about the name because what does it say? It says <laughs> Merlin. It doesn't even say you know Hair full sync or you know Madam full sync. Thank you. That's my my water machine. You know, <laughs> we say that new filters. So being you changing the world for me has taken a totally different turn. Yeah. What else? What else is this? Because I thought that being me changing the world would be like, oh, I, like, I shouldn't like, I don't know, even stand out or choose things that are extreme because you're just kind of like more normal. And I was like, wow, that is so weird. I can like be anything. What I've seen so many people do is butcher that, that, that statement into a certain judgment of what it is. And I'm like, fuck that, pardon me. That's not, it's not what it is for me. Being me is being able to choose and be everything. And I, what would it take for everyone to kind of like know that and remember that as long as you're not judging yourself for what you're choosing, it will be more congruent and it will be more, you know, of a reality. If instead of if you keep on shying away from what it can be by the judgments we put on. So that's one of the biggest kind of like, like awarenesses I got, lessons I learned, so to say, from this whole Merlot adventure. And um, yeah, I'm really happy to share it. I, I, I'm really curious who will be like watching this after the live stream is over as well. Um, yeah. So, I, hi. It's, I think it's, an, for me, it's just an amazing invitation. I, um, I was saying uh, to the people that were watching while you were um, busy with the mailman, it's like, it's such an, it's, I always wanted to be, I always wanted it to be different. And I always wanted to contribute to the world. But it was, there was a lot of weirdness of being different and uh, like proving something and being rebellious. And I had always this point of view in my mind, like I had to have money and uh, I have to be rich. I had to have a very big degree to, in order to change something. And then, and then I decided I have to be a coach. And then I decided I have to be a coach for, 
for uh, for access consciousness and it was just not working like at all because I wasn't willing to first look at what I what I truly desired to create for me as my life and this piece what you're giving is I can't even put it into words and I'm sure people that will watch have the same please don't it's like, <laughs> just keep it open <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, yeah, you're, you have given um, a different possibility to uh, all of but, us. You know, thank you, so, thank you so much for actually giving me like you know another stage or platform to talk about this as well, because uh, um, you know for me it's really started from this question and from the acknowledgement that only living for me is not enough. I was already contributing, but I wasn't really acknowledging that we're all creating a crea reality together. And for me, I was like, shit, how much more color can I add to the whole smorgasbord on planet Earth, uh, including, you know, my own life? Um, that's including my own life. It's not the, the planet and my life. It's kind of like this whole thing. I know, it's just kind of fell into a totally different place for me. So anyway, I hope it will, you know, contribute someone, something to people's worlds. And, you know, if you ever feel alone, just know there's a whole friggin' whole world out there um, full of people that will not judge you. One of the things that I would like to, like, like add to this, maybe before we round off, how far in are we? Like, did you have a, a time for how long we're going to go? No. Oh, we're just following the energy. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So... <laughs> So is that I started asking for, for, for things and people to show up. Like, you know, I really started asking for possibilities. Like, what is this energy that I'm asking for? Which people, um, and it was the energy. Like, I had no thoughts with this. Um, that's how a lot of people get caught up in their thoughts. So, like, I, I just went from the energy of it. And it's like, okay, what's this energy that I would like my life to be in the, that I want to contribute to the world? Then, you know, which people like, belong with that and what things, um, you know, resonate with that and what can um, I, you know, know and take action on. And it's literally kind of like been this exploration of following the energy. I just kind of like saw things show up in my timeline on Facebook and Instagram I had these like other meetings. I was choosing different things in the business. I was like spending less time behind a computer um, and letting things, you know, like kind of like, you know, go berserk as well every once in a while since I'm like, I can be <laughs> such, I can be such a control freak, which is like a great power as well. Um, uh -huh. And, and yeah, so that's what I acknowledge as well. So I can actually use that control to, you know, let other people do you know what i would actually you know would like demand of myself that i would do so you know like what adventure is life really and uh you know if you ever feel like you know you want to have fun with yourself get a wig and put it on <laughs> get some heels and put it on it i'm might, gonna you do know, the dildo spark. thing <laughs> Oh my god i said that out loud yeah for you it's a lot easier hey well, you a lot easier. It's like, you know, I would have like a... Dildo strap, it brings so much stuff up for me. So I basically just do it, do, do it, it, do it. <laughs> yeah. All the, all the, all the stuff that brings stuff up for you. Like we, like I'm like actually engaging with. Yeah. I've been engaging with all these parts that are difficult for me. Uh, or that I thought was difficult for me. And then when I start kind of like looking at the energies, asking questions about it, just mingling with the possibilities that it actually has, it's like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. How does it get better than that? So. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're such a gem. Thank you so much for starting this. Um, and thank you everyone for, for watching. Um, yeah. Been a definitely different conversation. <laughs> yes, um, yes, and yes. What else yes. is possible? Yes, you know what I've noticed as well. Living <laughs> like what before we go, what I noticed as well. 
what what's different about my life now is that in having less judgment in my world about even about you know what I have to do and be, I'm just so much happier. And even if it's like if you don't feel happy about yourself whenever you are watching, chances are that there might be like some judgments in your world that that are ready to like be let go. So you know, just feed those energies and. What else can you ch choose from the space you be? And then again, put on some heels on. <laughs> That's just my my practical go-to tool. Yeah. <laughs> and if people can't get enough of you, Magic Merlot, where can they find you? They can find me. I'm on Instagram, the Magic Merlot. Uh, I am on Facebook, Magic Mer the Magic Merlot. I'm on YouTube as well. God, she's getting a website, um, you know, and through my alter ego as well, of course, or my, you know, my the boy version of me, Merlin. Um, and where else? I don't know. Just look me up. Say hi. Say hello to Merlot. <laughs> say hello to Merlot and note. I'm and uh, yeah on this note let's uh, thank you <laughs> thank you Evie bye everyone bye everyone thanks for watching <laughs> bang bang I put Merlot she's gonna gonna bang bang her camel toe I'll let you have it wait a minute let me tuck it back wait a minute Ditcher. Ditcher.